smoke screen laid. Engine room, lay smoke screen. Smoke screen laid, sir. Commander Winslow, attacking cruiser, port side. Very good, Pennington. Bearing, sir, 20 degrees. Left half rudder. Left half rudder. Torpedo control, the fire went on. Torpedo control. Torpedo fired, sir. Four torpedoes fired, sir. Just scored four direct hits of Very good. Those torpedoes sure put that cruiser out of action. Submarine, sir, off the starboard bow. Stand by for depth charges. Depth charge stations. Depth charges one, two, and three fired, sir. Right, full rudder. Right, full rudder. Admiral Warburton, you're to be congratulated on the manner in which your fleet has conducted these maneuvers. Thank you, sir. Commander Winslow is also to be commended. I agree with you, sir. He deserves a lot of credit for the way he's readjusted himself after being transferred back to his command from Naval Intelligence. Order Commander Winslow aboard. I want to talk to him. Aye, aye, sir. Have that signal sent to Commander Winslow at once. years off our grades. It won't hurt us any, especially with the Sinkus watching maneuvers. <laughs> Commander Winslow, Admiral Warburton's compliments, sir. You're to come aboard flagship immediately. Very well. This is it, Red. Cross your fingers. You said it, Don. And don't forget to present Lieutenant Pennington's compliments to the Sinkus. Commander Winslow reporting, sir. Commander, I've sent for you to congratulate you on the skillful handling of your ship during the maneuvers. Thank you, sir. But the officers and enlisted men deserve most of the credit. I'm glad you realize that. We commanding officers must never forget that it's the spirit of the entire personnel that makes our Navy the great force that it is. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, sir. 
Supply ship SS Quarter Queen sunk off Tangita Island. Suspect organized sabotage. Respectfully request Commander Winslow be transferred back to my division at Pearl Harbor. Signed, Captain Holding, Naval Intelligence. Quarter Queen is the second supply ship that's been lost attempting to reach Tangita Island. The first intimation that we've had of sabotage is this report from Miss Mercedes Colby. Mercedes Colby? Yes, she and her friend Mr. Gay were the only survivors of the Quarter Queen. Do you know them? Very well. I've worked with them before. They're both very intelligent girls. Oh, they're more than that, especially Misty. <laughs> well, tell me, Captain, what were they doing on the Quarter Queen? Well, Miss Gay is secretary to Blake, the contractor building the naval base at Tangita. Miss Colby is the head nurse at the new naval dispensary on the island. What's so important about Tangina? Well, although it's off the main trade routes, the trolls based there can protect our shipping lanes. Then the destruction of these supply ships is the work of saboteurs determined to prevent our building a base on Tangina. That's right. The fact that the Quarter Queen was torpedoed proves that the saboteurs must have a base somewhere in the vicinity of Tangina. That's why I'm sending you there, Winslow, to try and find that out. We'll do our very best, sir. I know you'll do that. Now, here's the island layout. Here at the northern tip is a gold mine. The only through road runs south from it, past this native village, to round down a bay where the base is being built. You're southbound for Tangita tonight, Commander, under forced draft. Aye, aye, sir. And good luck. Thank you, sir. We should be pulling into Round Down Bay in less than an hour. You'll be in command of the ship, Grady, while Lieutenant Pennington and I are ashore. All right, sir. Your first assignment will be to sail directly south 200 miles. Then circle the island, closing in until you return to Round Down Bay. Yes, sir. Tangita looks peaceful enough. Yeah. U.S. Navy, all right. And with Winslow on Tangita, we've got to watch our step. And what brought him here? Certainly. To investigate the report that the Quarter Queen was torpedoed off this island. Tracker's carelessness in allowing those two girls to escape when he sank the Quarter Queen may disrupt our whole layout here. I'd hate to be in Tracker's shoes when the Scorpion finds out that Winslow has been sent to Tangita. Anyway, we have the edge on Winslow. What's that? We know something about him and his capabilities. He doesn't know us or ours. Someone's leaving the ship. Who is it? Looks like Winslow and some of his naval intelligence associates. Lower the upper periscope. I'll go. Yes, sir. Slow before he can locate our underwater submarine base. And bring a flock of U.S. destroyers down on us? No, Pendle. Scorpion has too big and too costly a layout here to take that chance. Hey, wait a minute. There's Tranker on the Z-37 now. Captain Tranker? Okay, for a while, M-22. You'll have 
have to wait until the undersea's oil wells are repaired. That's what's keeping Letterton and his Z-52 in port. As a matter of fact, Franker, you're to keep your sub here in this cave until you receive further instruction from the Scorpion. But I don't understand. I... But it might help your understanding to know that those two girls whom you allowed to escape from the Court of Queen brought Don Winslow and that U.S. destroyer anchored out in the bay. One of us is enough to greet Winslow. Mercedes, look who's here. You'd better stay ashore with us and look out for the radio. Aye, aye, sir. Red. It's good to see you. Hi, sailor. Hi, Misty. How's the shipwreck, Mermaid? Oh, I want to forget about it. It was pretty horrible. Well, here's my boss, Mr. Blake. I don't think you've met him. Welcome to Tangita, Commander. Thank you, Mr. Blake. I'm glad to meet you, and I'm glad to be here. And this is Lieutenant Pennington. Glad to know you, Lieutenant. Your job will be a lot easier with Don Winslow and Red Pennington on the island. To say nothing of the 620 standing by. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it. We've heard of Winslow even in Tangita. Nothing bad, I hope. <laughs> May I welcome the new arrivals? Hello, Merlin. Oh, Commander Winslow, Lieutenant Pennington, this is Mr. Merlin. Glad Commander. to meet you, Mr. Merlin. Mr. Merlin is the manager of the Tangita Gold Mine. Oh, I see. Commander Winslow is here to investigate the sabotage that's been holding up my work. Oh, that's good news. Be sure to let me know, Commander, if there's anything I can do to help you. Thank you, Mr. Merlin, I will. Well, Commander, I'd like to show you the offices we've arranged for you in our headquarters. Oh, I'm sure you'll like them, especially the radio. Well, sounds very good. Let's look it over. Okay. Maybe we can learn Winslow's immediate plans. I've been waiting two days for a message from the Baratavia. The Baratavia? Is she headed for Tangina? Yes, with equipment, skilled technicians, and their families. My work on the new naval base is practically at a standstill until she arrives. Well, that looks like our first job, Red. To see that the Baratavia reaches here safely. 620 will see her through. I'll radio Grady as soon as we find out the Baratavia's position. We'll use the special code. A lot of good the special code will do with this hookup. We'll take care of the Baratavia. You're not risking a submarine to get the Baratavia. That depends on what Winslow does with the 620. Spike, I've got an important job for you to do. Corey, stick close to that dictaphone. I want a record of all the information you can get on the Baratavia. Splendor. And the top of the morning to you, Captain Fairfield. Have you had any word yet from Blake? Not yet. You know my orders not to disclose our position until we reach 30 South. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Come in. Oh, hello, Mr. Barzak. What can I do for you? I must send a message, and your radio operator refuses to transmit it. I'm sorry, Mr. Barzak. He's following orders. We're using our radio only for ship's business from here until we reach Tangita. But this message is important. Sure, it is more important that our workers and their families reach Tangita. Right. That's why we're taking no chances on having the Baratavia's position known. Okay, Fairfield. You're the captain. And let that be a lesson to you, Mr. Barsack. Marco, what about 
about that code message for Barsack. I've just finished it, M22. Good. Use the regular commercial plan and send it to him on the Baratavia at once. Yes, sir. We've just contacted Tajita by radio. Your friend, Commander Winslow, is there. That's fine. I had a hunch he'd be showing up there sooner or later after Blake wired me about the trouble he's been having. Well, he's certainly on the job. He's sending the 620 to convoys as soon as I radio him our position. Well, sure, they'll be needing that. The 620 could never find us on the zigzag course we've been sailing. I'll have Sparks radio our position in code at once. Uh -huh. Our course every 15 minutes. What's wrong? Sparks has been murdered. Our radio smashed to prevent us giving our position to the 620. They can't raise the Baratavia, sir. We'll contact the 620. Maybe the Baratavia gave Grady her position. Yes, sir. M-22, the Scorpion is ready to speak. Our submarine base on Tangita must not be discovered. Don Winslow is to be taken prison and held until I order his execution. Destroy the Baratavia and leave no survivors. Franca is a valuable agent, but he must be punished as I advised for his callousness in placing us in great danger. These are your orders, M-22. You know the penalty for failing to execute them. See that Spike destroys Winslow's radio. Where's Tranker? Probably still on the submarine awaiting orders. threatens us with the loss of our undersea submarine base and the whole setup here. Our master, the Scorpion, demands that you be punished. Well, don't stand there talking about it. Get it over with. The Scorpion has been most generous. He gives you a 50-50 chance to escape with your life and at the same time render him a great service. Do you accept that chance? What else can I do? I know there's no escape in the Scorpion. No. What's the chance? You are to sink the Baratavia. Well, that'll be easy. I'll get the Z-37 right away. You won't need the submarine. You are to sink the Baratavia alone. What do you mean? You are to become the first successful human torpedo ever to be used in the Scorpion services. The report, sir. The 620 hasn't been able to contact the Baratavia. Then something serious must have happened to the ship. Ask Grady for his position. Yes, sir. Mosquito boat's ready, Don. Oh, all right, Grady. He went after the gunman.
be any message between Winslow and that destroyer. Then Tracker can't miss blowing up the Baratavia with his human torpedo. I'm sure glad I know human torpedo. Okay, sailor. Get rid of the gun. Inside. He must have gone out that window, sir. We'll go after the rest of them. There's no use, Red. You can't find anybody in this jungle. What was that shooting at the warehouse? They smashed our radio, sir. We'll get it fixed as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Red, this is all a plan to blow up the Baratavia with a human torpedo before the 620 comes up to protect her. Well, we've got to warn the Baratavia. There's only one chance. We'll use the mosquito boat. Now, when you get a direct line on the Baratavia, pull that lever and jump for your life. My life isn't worth much from now on. It's the Scorpion's orders. Now, get started. Torpedo will follow the same course we're on. So keep a sharp lookout, Red. Okay, Don. Don, look! That's it, Red. Unlimber the gun. Okay. I know. Ramming's the only thing that'll stop it. Throw out that life belt, Red, and jump in. Nothing doing. I'm sticking with you, Don. That's an order, Lieutenant Pennington. Aye, aye, sir. 